fix on their emotional states. So the better we can understand their feelings and reactions, the better we can interact with them and care for them. In fact, Jurassic World's chief genetic engineer, Dr. Henry Wu, has encouraged us in this research. He spared no expense. So, is this like what that guy Owen is doing with those raptors? Cause I saw him say the dude who fell in their pen. Owen's awesome. Mr. Grady is working on behavioral training, whereas we're trying to decipher what's going on in the dinosaurs' heads. So, what's going on in Jeannie's head right now? She seems a little nervous. Her headpiece is transmitting. These readings are off the chart. Something's really scary, Jeannie. Uh, guys, we're getting a phase one real world alert. What? Are you? The Indominus Rex has escaped its pad. Oh, no. No, no, no. Anything but that. What's an Indominus Rex? I've never heard of that dinosaur. Because Jurassic World created it. It's a vicious hybrid Dr. Wu cooked up in his lab. We need to evacuate and get to a dinosaur security bunker. Okay. I'll get you. The whole point of a dinosaur security bunker is no dinosaurs. How big is an Indominus Rex? Bigger than a Tyrannosaurus. Oh, it's right outside, isn't it? Let me check the lab next to your cameras. Nothing there. Kate, you've been at this for the last three months. 
The Maserati Corporation is doing damage control. They're never going to let you talk to Claire. I need to know if anyone saw Jeannie after... after I left her behind. Kate, I, I keep telling you, it's not your fault. You had no choice. We all love Jeannie, but, but she's gone. You have to accept that and move on. I just miss her so much. We all do, Kate. Hey, Alice, you want to be the first guest on my new podcast? Dinosaur Theme Park. What could go wrong? Chad, I'm trying to work, which is what you're supposed to be doing. But lucky they let us keep our internships. This new gig is boring. I mean, we've been working on adapting the dino decoder to use on monkeys for three months now. <sighs> Snore! Yeah, I wish we could film with dinosaurs. I miss them. One of them tried to eat you. Okay, I, I don't miss all of them. Hey, Dr. R, you got to work it. Um, uh, that shouldn't be flashing. The dino decoder! It's a readout. It must be... How do you know? The decoder is calibrated specifically to her brainwaves. It only works with her. She's still alive. She got away from the Indominus Rex. That's awesome. Kate, you were right all along. You never gave up hope. Even though I specifically told you to. That's on me. I'm sorry. Wait, this reading isn't good. It's registering intense fear. Jeannie is really scared of something. Let me check the signal and make sure it's transmitting correctly. Oh, this is weird. This signal's not coming from Isla Nublar. I'm tracing it to a location somewhere else. She's in the Atacama Desert? In Chile? Why would Jeannie be in Chile? Someone must have taken her there. And whatever they're up to is frightening her. Oh, Jeannie. I have to go help her. Kate, she's halfway around the world and you don't know what you'd be walking into. Martin, I abandoned her once. I'm not going to do it again. Kate, this is reckless and dangerous and there's no stopping you, is there? Nope. Then we're going together. What? I mean, not together together, but you know. I'm coming too. Helping dinosaurs is why I wanted to be a paleo veterinarian in the first place. Count me in. Sounds like this has the makings of a sweet adventure. And about six episodes of my podcast. Yes. 
things are getting out of control. We can't let this bunch of amateurs get the better of us. Check this out.
charge. Hit the prism light.
Please be back on your seats in three minutes. Our plane is about to arrive at East Lindblad, and who knows what we'll find. I hope it's snacks. Of course you do. Jeannie? 
I know you mean well, Allison, but according to the Dino Decoder, Jeannie's still getting used to you, so be sure to keep your distance. Alright! We're in the Jurassic World Adventure Zone! Oh, I always wanted to swing around on the vines, but security had this stupid rule about it being for park guests only. Well, now my time is come! What is it, girl? Dinosaur. 
Hey, don't you try to read my mind. Chad, look behind you. Did Jeannie find her eggs? Nope. She found a midnight snack. 
Why did you stop? Did Jeannie find her? Oh, that's disgusting. She looks like Chad when he goes face first into a bowl of mac and cheese. Hey, is there another way to eat mac and cheese? I knew we should have got the monorail working. Looks like Jeannie's very content right now. This could take a while. I think this goes without saying, but nobody pick up any dinosaur eggs. <laughs> He's talking about you. <laughs> what is it, girl? Something's coming. Hey, turn those off. If it's the Tyrannosaurus Rex, it'll be attracted to the light. Don't worry. We're not gonna need lights for this.
looks like break time's over. Let's move, people. Oh, man. I just started filming. Well, if I posted this video, everyone was just going to say, say, I won't say it. Make sure you tag me.
on your report. What are we gonna do? I don't think there's anything we can do. Move it. Okay, you take the soldier on the left, and I'll take all the rest. 
Easy, cowboy. I like the new you, but we're a little outnumbered.
Baby! 
What's up, Kevin? What's up, Kevin? Yeah, you came in a little bit late, but that's alright, don't worry. Uh, the live stream will be back on my uh, channel. So I'll post it on my channel. Yeah, we're uh, Jurassic World, uh, Jurassic World Live. So, it's pretty amazing. How you doing, Kevin? Next week, we'll be at Universal. Put the camera around. NBA championship banners. All right, there. Our jerseys. Last one in the bottom corner, right there, is Paul Gasol next to Kobe Bryant. The Sparks. Just wait till everybody leave before I get up. But yeah, it's a nice little setup, though, Kevin. Okay. Yeah, you can just go back and replay it, you know, watch the uh, video once I uh, post it to the channel. It's pretty amazing. I didn't get here like. I got like a little bit after 11, I bought some souvenirs. Bought a picture, you can see. Little cup. About to go buy some more souvenirs right now. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. First time being in this place in a long time. And that's just it. One, two, three, the last roll right there. The third row, last seat. Row three, right. That seat right there, at the tip of the thing. That's like my uh, seat right from the Lakers games. Don't tell nobody. Or sometimes I said like by the Lakers bench. This is the bigger side. But normally I said like over there where the Lakers sit. 
like that area over there. So yeah, this is set up, I guess. Well, how's your day going, Kevin? Let's go back and catch the uh, the live stream. I'm let people go, probably. Let's go buy some uh, Jurassic World merch right now. See what they have. But yeah, there's a picture I took with blue. I'll take a picture of it and post it in the community channel. Once I get uh, situated. <laughs> Pretty cool, see the T Rex. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. We're booting everybody out. I think it's a 3 o'clock show. So it's a 3 o'clock show. Today was the last day. It was like a two-day event. I don't know. I think it's a three-day event. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So we're going to buy some souvenirs. But uh, my rapper squad, I love you guys. I will post it. I will upload this uh, video for you guys. Okay. I love you guys dearly. Two Cali right now, I'm about to buy some souvenirs. Kevin, Toby. Always appreciate you guys. My Facebook viewers. Talk to you later. Alright, Rapper Squad, to my next one. See you later.